Hi right, guys, back with another video. This is my Kaboom Mantis Light Plus. It's a 48 volt, 18.2 ampere wear setup. You have an 800 watt motor on the rear only, nothing on the front. It's got plenty of power. Obviously it's nothing like the uh, Pro version with 2000 watt dual motors. Um, but nevertheless, compared to M365 or the Pro, it seriously is a lot more powerful um, and a lot more comfortable being with the suspension and everything and the bigger tires. Anyway, this video, I want to concentrate on the settings on the controller and the display and show you what you can change, cannot change and shouldn't change. Now, first thing to note, which I didn't find on any other YouTube video at all, is when you try and get into this, it's going to ask you for a password. So if we just go into this now by holding both buttons and ask for a password. So the password is 9221. So pressing the power button will switch between the numbers. So nine. Nine, two, two, one. Then hold the power button down. You're in. Now, if you let this time out, you'll have to put them all back in again. So pressing power will obviously enter that setting. That's actually the tire diameter. We don't want to touch that. You notice it back out there. So if I press it again. Uh, that's for a 10 inch tire. So to move to the next setting, we got P1. Now, P1, main thing to note with this is, this is the controller shutdown voltage. Um, now this manual is printed for a 60 volt setup, like for the pros and so on. So I would definitely recommend checking this setting in P1. Now for the 48 volt setup, which is for the Mantis Light and Light Plus, you should have a cutoff voltage of 42.5 volts. Okay, so P1 setting, 42.5. That's your cutoff voltage, and obviously you don't want to take that any lower. Um, obviously, you could damage your battery. Now, rather than go through the whole menu and it keep timing out while I go through this, I just want to bring up some points. Like I said, P0, don't touch that. That's your tire diameter. Uh, P1 is your controller shutdown voltage. Now, even though that says 52 volts, if you've got the light or light plus, that should be at 42.5 volts. And mine is set to that from the factory, so just double check that. Uh, P2, P3, shouldn't touch at all. P4, obviously you can change that between miles per hour and kilometers an hour. Um, mine come in kilometers an hour, and obviously I have to change up the miles per hour. P5 is your zero start or kick and go setting, basically. So if you want to put it on one, you'll get a non-zero start. So you've got a kick and go. And if you put it on zero, you can literally just pull the trigger and it go. Um, P6, cruise control, does not work. I come on set to zero. I've set that to one. I've now done, let's have a look. I think I've done over 100 miles. on. Yeah, I've done over 100 miles on this now. It doesn't come on. Um, I have emailed Kaboo UK. They've told me that this model does not support cruise control. It's in the manual, but hey-ho. Um, next setting is P7, initial acceleration. I've got mine set to zero. That's how it comes. On strong, obviously, you can uh, put that on soft for a, for a slower acceleration. P8 is your electronic regenerative braking. Obviously, that will use the rear wheel only because obviously you've only got one motor on this to help slow you down when you activate the front or the rear brake. As soon as the brake light switch activates, which is just a slight pull, the regen brakes will activate as well. Um, we have P9, which obviously you can limit the speed of the scooter um, for no limit at all. You would put that on 100. I'm not too sure what PA does. I don't think it does anything. Uh, PB, scooter order auto turn off time in minutes so that is when you're not using the scooter at all and you can actually if i can show you you can plug your phone in in the charger just here a uh, usb socket so if you're not using the scooter you can set it to say stay on for two hours to charge your phone up if you wanted to use that feature and pc is your display brightness so one low two medium three high um, and like I said before, to get into the settings, hold both buttons at the same time, which we do now. I'll quickly put in the password, 9221. I'll just put in the password, hold the power button to enter it. To go through the different P settings, click mode. When you found this setting that you want to adjust, so for example, let's go to PC for the screen brightness. Center. 
Now either button will change the parameter. And when you've done it, basically just let go and wait. Okay, that's it for this video, guys. I just wanted to point out mainly the cruise control doesn't work. Also, P1, make sure you check the cutoff voltage, which is pretty important. And I'll see you on the next video.